Good morning, this is Sean Woodale at Heavenly Soaps and Such. I'm here to bring you another Soap Talk Tuesday. Um, I have a lot going on. Um, I will say that I don't make these videos on Tuesday. I don't want anybody to think this is what I'm doing on a Tuesday morning. Um, I do make them on the weekend. I just release them on Tuesday morning. That way I have time to edit it and, and get the video ready. And then I just um, schedule it to be released on Tuesday morning. So. A lot of things going on. I uh, wanted to share a couple of things with you. I've started making uh, bath bombs. So um, I've got some of those here that I've been working on. I'm working on, I'm just going to kind of show you. I'm working on some of the colors, uh, playing with it. I, I really didn't like this. is a black, but it turned like a green sprinkle on top. Didn't really care for that too much. The um, green is a little light, but that's okay. I really like the sprinkle ones. And then I ended up with some down here that were just um, plain. And I ended up with a little half piece there. And if I don't hurry up, these are ready to package. They're nice and hard. Yesterday, they weren't hard enough to package. So I'm going to be packaging these um, today. And if I don't hurry up and package them, the children are going to use all of them. They keep, especially, um, they, they keep asking for them at when it's bath time. Now, you can see I have my iPod, my iPad set up. I, I listen to videos and watch things while I'm working. Um, my latest thing that I'm working on now is packaging my beer um, soap. I have only two bars left to package. And what I do is I just print out these little, vi these little um, ingredient cards with my um, name on it, put it on it, and I use these little bags and I package them up and get them ready to go and I'll show you here's one here it's already ready packaged up and I've already boxed it up ready to go to the stores now so I've got that going on now what I plan to do with the bath bombs is I went to Dollar, um, Dollar Tree and I bought these little containers and this one I'll show you the back of it I'm not sure what size it is but it's about six inches, seven inches, probably six or seven inches wide. Um, and I'm going to use these to make little gift uh, gift boxes. I already have people asking for the bath bombs. And I'm going to set the, the tripod back up so that I can kind of show you some of the stuff without me having to try to hold it. Okay. All right. Um, I already have people asking for the bath bombs. So what I did is I went and bought... Um, I got this one for more of a child's box, and what I plan to do is put some of these, um, one of these colors in the container, and then what I'm going to do is for the children's, I'm just going to put two. I'm, I'm going to put, um, I don't think I could fit three. I think I'm just going to put two. I'm going to wrap these, of course, and put that in, and I'm going to put two of those in there. Or we'll see how many um, fits, and then I'm going to sell these boxes um, as Christmas gifts. Now, I'm going to do this one a little different. Instead of just having the bath bombs in these, I bought these cute little ornaments, plain ornaments. And I'm going to fill these up with foaming bath salts, um, or fairy dust, as some people call it. And I'm going to actually have one of these in here with two bath bombs in the bigger one. So, and this one could be, which this one could be for a child or teenager or an adult. I have some adults asking about bath bombs. So, I'm going to create a couple gift sets with these. But just wanted to share those little ideas that those are some of the things that you can do. Now, let's see. Um, I have a mess in here. Um, as for the bath bombs... You can use things like this to to uh, decorate the top. I'm using these as little embeds inside, and what they do is they give the bath bomb the little spin. So instead of making embeds, I'm just putting one of these little sugar things in there, and it's a confetti. It says Jumbo Confetti. I'm putting one in the bath bomb, and it makes it off balance, and it just gives it that spinning, spinning um, effect. Okay, um, so got those there. I um, have some kombucha tea that I was planning to use in a 
in a, a soap or a liquid soap. I, I really was wasn't quite a sure quite sure. I put the towel over it. It does need to breathe the little rag. And when I opened it the other day, voila! What I noticed is is that um I have a scoby growing on top. So this tells you how good this kombucha is. Um, it's really really good. I mean this scoby grew in no time at all. So therefore, I'm gonna have to take it out and put it somewhere else. But I'm still planning to use the kombucha tea. And like I said, I'm just keeping it covered so that nothing nothing can get down inside it until I'm ready. I may I, I may end up not using it. I don't know. Uh, but it's fine sitting over there waiting. Now, let's see. Oh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit. I went and bought, did my bulk order, and I have tons and tons of buckets under. I don't know if you can see them all under there. Uh, this one is my sodium hydroxide. And I ended up getting 100 pounds of sodium hydroxide. I have 50 pounds of baking soda. Over here in the corner, you'll see I have um, citric acid. And I, I put it in a trash bag and then put it in there. And it's open right now because I'm using it. But I bought that stuff in bulk. So if you're interested in some citric acid or some sodium hydroxide or... Um, potassium hydroxide baking soda I bought baking soda in bulk as well um, just let me know but I'm trying to save money so I can pass that on to my consumers things are getting really expensive uh, one other thing I wanted to talk to you about on Soap Talk Tuesday is this I have um show you I have a bunch of soap crop I mean crop pots as you know well this was one that was an oval crop pot one of the bigger styles but the pot started leaking the oils would leak out of the pot into the bottom of the crock pot and so it had been doing a little at a time what's well, gotten worse so I've decided it's time to retire that crock pot but what I did is this it had a lid a little handle here well I have another crock pot that is works fine but the lid, the little handle messed up. So, you know, it's hard to use a crock pot when you don't have a handle to grab. So what I did is I just took the handle off of this one. And I put it on this one. So now this one is working fine. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and just um, just throw this one away. Or, yeah, I'll just go ahead and throw it away. I can't. I don't have anywhere to put it to save it. I could probably save it if in case I need it in the future. But I just wanted you to know that you can do things like that with the crock pots. Um, handles are a little harder the handles on the side because you have to get inside the crock pot to do it I don't mess with those but this is a great way to um, to replace handles and even if you don't need a handle at that time just take it off it's just it's just a screw on the bottom take it off uh, put the screw back in it in the handle and just put it in a drawer and then when you need one you'll have it so that's just one little tip thing that um that I've done that I thought others might find uh, useful also when this kind of stuff goes on sale at the store if you're planning on making bath bombs or even even soaps i guess you could decorate with uh the tops of it maybe look for these because these go on sale and you can get these to decorate and play around with your bath bombs um if you're planning on doing them or whatever bubble bars or whatever it is you're you're making so that works wonderful okay um i think that was everything I wanted to talk about today. Um, I did pick up some boxes, but they're in the car. When I was at Walmart, I picked up some more boxes that were uh, kind of like this. Oops, kind of like this box that I showed you before. Um, they were kind of like this, but they were a little smaller. So I picked them up. The lady told me I could have however many of them I wanted. Uh, so I ended up picking up. I think four of them and I have them in the car. I haven't even unloaded it because I do have some Christmas stuff in there that I don't want the children to see. So, um, pick those up, use those. I also picked up some like bread, plastic bread trays to start putting some stuff on and they're still in the car so I need some, uh, a store was throwing those away. And so I picked those up and I'm going to use those for putting my soaps in them so that rather than having to sit them on the table and then move them I can um, 
I can just put them on the tray and then move the tray and then move the tray back as I need to. So I think I think that's it. Um, I do have, like I said, a big mess today. Um, a lot going on. I have more sprinkles down here. I'm wanting to do a Christmas bubble bar with peppermint. Um, so I'm going to work on that sometime today. And that's it for now. Um, someone had asked about... Someone had asked about the what I line my molds with, and I didn't think about. I don't. This is what I use from Walmart, and it's it's about twelve. I think it's twelve inches. It looks about twelve inches, and it just comes in a roll like this, and it's in the shelf liner rack, and it's white on this side, and it's it's got some like beige showing through, but it's white, and then it's beige on this side, and it's textured, and then I just roll it out and cut it. To fit the mold and then I put the brown the beige side is what will come in contact with the soap and the white part will be what comes in contact with the mold but I haven't had since I made those liners I haven't had to replace them yet and I've probably used each one probably four times so that's working better for me we'll see how long they last but um this is a nice really nice roll it's not really that expensive so um, you can find it at Walmart in the shelf lining section over where the the hampers and or the kit, the trash cans and that kind of stuff is in the kitchen section. So just wanted to share that with you because someone asked. Um, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Um, watch the ads. It, it really helps me out. And give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'm loving interacting with you and, and posting to and replying to your comments and hearing from each one of you. So leave me those comments. And until next time. Have a great week.